friction is a force that resists the movement of two contact contacting surfaces and the surfaces that slide relative to one another so the friction is always acts tangent to the surface that means the force is always parallel to the surface and one of its very important type that is dry friction dry friction is also called as coulomb friction so coulomb friction occurs between the contacting surface of bodies when there is no lubricating fluid so this is very common type of friction and uh, in our daily life there are too many bodies which do not involve lubricating fluids impending motion means that when this block will start to move when this force p is greater than the frictional force when this p force becomes greater than this frictional force which is opposite to this applied force and it is opposing the motion of this block and it when it this p force can becomes greater than uh, frictional force this block will start to move so a certain maximum value is called limiting static frictional force fs stands for limiting static frictional force and it, this is the maximum frictional force that can occur in this type of a block so mu s is the coefficient of static friction and n is the normal reaction of the force so n is the normal reaction of this force which is opposite equal and opposite to the weight of this body where this resultant r which is the resultant of frictional force and normal force and phi s is the angle and it can be determined by using tan inverse we know in the front of angle it is perpendicular this is perpendicular and which is uh, f s and this is base which is n n is base so tan inverse is equal to perpendicular over base so f s over n is is equal to tan phi and tan inverse phi s is equal to tan inverse f s over n and we know that fs is equal to mu s n so we have placed mu s n here and n is cancelled out and phi s is equal to tan inverse mu s so the angle and the magnitude of this force can be found by these equations and in this table the common values of mu s are given you can see if a metal piece on ice is moving its coefficient of friction is minimum on the ice uh, ice is normally slippery and you will know that uh, the friction is low and uh, the tires of our cars easily slip on icy weather conditions uh, uh, next i will explain what is kinetic frictional force so uh, in the beginning the uh, friction is normally high and when the body is start moving is start to moving with some velocity and uh, its friction is reduced and the friction in the moving object is called kinetic friction and this figure also explain 
the concept of kinetic friction you can see that on this scale p is increasing p is increasing and frictional force is also increasing at this point the body starts to move before this point there was no no motion and beyond this point the force is reduced suddenly when the body is start moving so in this region the frictional force is frictional force is f k and in this region the frictional force is f s in this example you can see a crate and a man is pushing this crate and it will not uh, this crate will will not move until this p force is greater than this frictional force when the p is greater than this frictional force this crate will move and it is quite possible that this crate is tip over that means tipping of this uh, crate means that it can fall down like this and it depends tipping depends on the height of this force if we are applying this force at too much height it will trip over like in this way and uh, to avoid tipping of this log we need to apply this force at lower heights that it means h should be low and uh, as p force increases the crate will either be on the verge of slipping this p force is increase and it will be on the verge of slipping on the surface then the resultant normal force will shift to the corner so you can see the resultant is now shifted to the corner this is the point when this is the point when the motion is started and at this point the resultant is shifted to this corner and <clears throat> it is quite possible at this point that this block can tip over and uh, when this the motion is now started now the tipping uh, the point at which the resultant is acting may shift to another distance x so in the example we will find this distance x as well so x is the distance at which the resultant of this frictional force and normal force is acting so now uh, we will solve this example uh, to understand the concept further in this example the uniform crate shown in figure has a mass of 20 kg so the mass is 20 kg and its weight will be equal to 20 multiplied by 9.81 which is equal to 196.2 newton if a force force is acting in the uh, in a direction 30 degree with the horizontal is applied to the crate determine if it remains in equilibrium so uh, we need to determine either it will this box will move or not due to this force and coefficient of static friction is also given as 0.3 so we have equilibrium equations and we know in the x direction there is 80 cos 30 and the opposing force f is equal to 0 and this is second equilibrium equation and the force is in the y direction this is the y component of this p force p sin 30 which is in the downward direction so this is negative sign p sign 30 minus its weight which is 196.2 
this is the weight of this log which is on the downward direction and that is why with the negative sign plus its normal reaction which is on the upward direction is equal to zero then uh, we will take moment about point o which is equal to zero and <coughs> this x component of this p force has a perpendicular distance of 0.2 meter and it will rotate the uh, box in this clockwise direction so p which is 80 pos 30 will rotate the box in and clockwise direction with the negative sign multiply by 0.2 and this vertical component of this p force which is p 80 sine 30 and it has a perpendicular distance of 0.4 and it will rotate in the anti-clockwise direction so plus 80 sine 30 multiplied by 0.4 and this weight is passing through point O it will not produce any moment because it does not have any perpendicular distance and this F force is also passing through this point O and it will not produce any moment and this NC force has a perpendicular distance x so it will rotate the uh, box in anti-clockwise direction in this direction anti-clockwise so plus n c multiplied by x is equal to so now we have three unknowns this f force n and x so if we solve these three equations simultaneously we will get the answers of f n c and x and after solving these three equations simultaneously we will get the answers which are the frictional force is 69.3 nc is equal to 236.2 and x is negative 9.08 millimeter this is newton newton and the maximum frictional force is equal to mu s n and we know mu is given is 0.3 and multiply by n n is found as 236 so this is equal to 70.9 newton as this is the maximum frictional force this is maximum and this maximum frictional force is greater than this frictional force which is been found so the box will not move as 70.9 is greater than 69.3 so it means that box will not move because the force p is somehow less than the frictional force and will if we want to move this box we need to increase this 80 newton force further thank you